morning everyone, Daniel's Vlogs, we are doing a, a day in Tassie, uh, it is unbelievably cold and windy in Melbourne and I expect the same in Tassie, we're going to go and watch the football, North Melbourne and Carlton, just packed a few little bits and pieces, so just to carry on, and it's my backpack that I use for barley, hope you're enjoying the barley series, uh, my Asia series, um, still plenty of episodes to come, Hopefully we'll go back again and put some more footage up. Um, I'll have this one, I'll have this video up in the middle of my Asia series just to give a bit of variety. Probably going to be a short one, maybe 15 20 minutes, and just see what I can film. So, we'll catch you inside the airport. So, to Daniel S. Vlogs, yeah, while Daniel is in the bathroom, I am just waiting patiently for him. We are going to Launceston to watch, Tas to watch Tasmania to watch North Melbourne versus Carlton. Alright, so we're going to T4, that's where the main uh, Jetstar domestic hub is, smell that jet fuel. So we're going towards the T check-in, alright, so this is the new terminal here at Melbourne oh, Airport, T4. I just want to make a correction as well. I did say when I was in Singapore about Jetstar not having the check-in scanners and whatnot, they do have the same thing as Scoot. I just think Scoot's probably a little bit better because it's probably run, it's run by Singapore Airlines, so just a correction on that. Um, Jetstar do have the, the terminals there at the airport that print the tags and the boarding pass, so correction. One of the planes right on the ceiling. <laughs> Alright, we are descending into Longceston, not Hobart. Take a car down, two hours. Strong northerly wind, so a little bit bumpy, but 45 minutes, which is not too bad. Yeah, it's 320. Felt like yesterday I was back on these planes every two minutes. Still can't stand them, but so yeah, I'm gonna land cold, wet, windy, and we'll fly out tomorrow night. <laughs> so we've left. We've left Melbourne. We've come to Launceston and it's pissing now rain. Lucky I got my jacket in the back. Oh, this is a fucking, it's like a field. This isn't an airport, this is a field. So, oh my God. Let's go inside, hopefully calm down. I got my heavy jacket for the game. Where, where the footy? dark and we've just hired a car nice car handles all right it's a Ford um, but this weather's just very shonky so it's actually Mitsubishi oh Mitsubishi okay <laughs> so it's a Mitsubishi um, so probably about another hour and a half to at least Hobart but this weather's just preventing us to go far so we'll get there enjoying a bit of the sun of the scenery and there's a bit of an edit for you later on so enjoy
Alright, so we're off to the footy. Got my jacket. I got my North Melbourne stuff under there. There. It's cold. I've got prepared for the weather. Wish me luck. Alright, so we are back at the room. Game's finished. There's a little bit of footage up. A little bit of game footage up as well. A couple of funny snaps and photos. Very cold. It reminds me of a suburban ground, literally. It's, quite, it's really quite funny. Very small ground. Um, but yeah, very cold. Glad to be back inside. It is freezing here at the moment. Um, yeah, so that's the football part of the trip done. Get some good night sleep, drive back tomorrow, but we're gonna go and check out the market, have some breakfast. I'll bring you a little bit around Hobart and then about two, three o'clock, we're gonna head over to the airport for the six o'clock flight back home to Melbourne. everyone we just had breakfast at ginger brown cafe it's a nice breakfast all right so we're at the elizabeth street pier here in hobart very very cold very 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 windy as well stephanie's still rocking the north melbourne beanie it's only because it's cold i hate them but it's cold okay her attitude stinks but we won't be going on holiday again with her this year so Can you turn the camera around okay you know what give me the camera i'm gonna talk now he's talking a whole lot of the only person that he wants to travel with is me because I'm the only one that can put up with his shit. <laughs> True. Anyway, so here is the map. It's got all the information. So it tells you everything, the airports, um, what's to do within this little area here. So it tells us where we are. So we are just here. <coughs> Excuse me. We are here and tells us what's around the towers, museums, Safe streets, malls, okay, so it's quite small, alright, the ferry that comes in and out, so this is a good information area here as well, excuse me, it's quite quite windy here, so very her it's got that heritage feel to it, um, like a bit of a backwards thing with Tassie, so, but there's a nice ship to the right over here, and it's Elizabeth Street Pier Service Apartments. So we're just gonna have a bit of a walk. Um, the audio is gonna be a little bit, a little bit clickety because of the wind. So the dead cat will do its best. Um, still be able to hear me, but yeah, that wind. Get this out. So the, so the wind is on another level here right now. It's freaking cold out. And, the, and all the signs are all falling down. Yeah, because we, where we have breakfast, it's all the mountains, so there's snow on the mountains. It's a very sort of low cast of, of uh, pressure coming down from the mountains. So I think that's what really triggers a lot of the weather here, coming off the mountains. They just bounce around everywhere. So if you're leaving from probably Hobart today, I reckon you get a lot of bumps. Yeah, even on the plane from Melbourne, we have to wait uh, 15 minutes on the tarmac in Melbourne because we have to close one of the runways just due to the strong northern that we copped and the plane was just going, the plane literally in stationary was going side to side, it's ridiculous. So, um, yeah, we went to the footy yesterday, North Melbourne one. Um, so yeah, there's tourist location and souvenirs and stuff in there. So we're just having a bit of a walk around now. Nice area, the city's over here.
Yeah, so come down, check out Elizabeth Street Pier. Restaurants, apartments. Um, it's quite cold, but it's really nice. Um, oh yeah, my thoughts on Blundstone Arena. <laughs> Blundstone Arena, probably like Icon Park. Any football fans out there, or Punt Road, it's, it's got that bit of that country feeling uh, stadium. Um, it's nice to be clo a small ground, you're closer to the action, so we had good seats in the cheer squad there. So. I've, I've, I've only got one thing to say about it, they need more toilets, do you not agree Daniel? Yes, the toilets, <laughs> there's only, in the men's hall there's like eight uni unirals, urals, is that not eight a lot? urals, which is not a lot per, so in our area there's like two banks of toilets, so that's like 16 pisses. So. Oh, but the food was cheap. Food is cheap, but it's pretty pretty average quality. Oh, that's okay. Um, but yeah, it was like 15 bucks which for like two drinks. Get a roll and chips, which in Melbourne, the chips itself is like twenty dollars, so it's pretty bad. So it's um, Macquarie Wharf to the right, just here. We've got that uh, the Federal Police boat ship. It's a nice size as well, so you don't want to get pulled over by them. It's luxury over there, so we're gonna have a walk on the wharf there. See some trawlers that go out. Um, for many people, the water is their life, their job. Yeah, there's plenty of restaurants here. It's almost got a little bit of that Docklands feel. Well, look at the apartments up there. Yeah, the beer, you got service apartments up there. But I reckon the exact same because Docklands is just as cold. In winter, I reckon if, if, I, start getting, if I start getting ice on my I nose. Know, I worked Docklands for years. This is actually, Docklands is actually colder than this in winter because of the wind tunnel. Well, That's true. This is cold regardless. I mean, I'm, I'm not designed for the cold. I'm a little scrawny man in comparison, so. Thanks, baby. He likes the, he likes not the heat, he likes 30. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm happy with my 25, yeah. sort of 29. Not too hot with a nice sea breeze, gets me going. I think if you come to Tassie, I think if you come to Tassie, you probably need maybe four or five days. We wanted to go to Port Arthur, but we found out <coughs> that Port Arthur is an hour and a half from here. So you're gonna, it's three hours up and back drive. So it's what, the 90 something Ks. Um, so maybe if, if I decide to come back to Tassie for the football again, if I don't get forced against my will um, to You're do something, a whole lot of rubbish now. Am I? Yeah. Because I don't force you to do anything you don't want to. No, do. I wasn't talking about you. Who? Someone that I know. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, um, you might know them. They do feature on my vlogs occasionally, so you might know them. You might not.
Right, so we're back at Launceston Airport. We'll depart back towards Melbourne town. We we'll turn the car. Um, let's check the car out. I'll put a little video here, just up here. Gives you a quick tour around the car. It was a Mitsubishi AS ASX. Good drive. They got a lot of um, asphalt type freeway here, so a little loud, a little noisy, not as smooth, but the car was a breeze to handle. Had all Bluetooth, had plenty of features, cruise control, so we're happy with the rental, nothing to complain. Good price, we'll get a deposit back in a couple of days. So we're done from Launceston. Um, the Tassie trip is done. I might a few hiccups and complete boil overs, but we're done now. And I'll see you for the next vlog, Daintless Vlogs. We are out. <laughs>